So this video is about the new presets added to Adobe Camera Raw. I'm going to show you where they are, how to use them, how to apply multiple presets on top of each other, and most importantly, how to create and save your own. Let's get to it. So Camera Raw has added about 70 new premium presets. Let's go over there. I'm gonna select both of these, and I'm gonna click this little aperture icon, which is gonna open these JPEG files in Camera Raw. So if you come over to the far right side and click on this, this is your preset menu. And remember, Adobe Camera Raw has the exact same develop functionality as Lightroom. Adobe has said it's like having two different color cars with the exact same engine in them. Everything that drives Adobe Camera Raw, they're the same exact algorithms that drive Lightroom. So Lightroom has had presets forever. Now they finally added a lot of them, a lot of good ones into Adobe Camera Raw, though they have had some presets before in the past. Before it was just like color and creative and black and white and portraits. But now look at all these different styles. We have portrait presets for deep skin, medium skin, light skin. We have auto retro, black and white, cinematic one and two, futuristic, vintage. We have presets for food. We have presets for landscape. And here's how you use them. Let me click on cinematic and I'm just hovering. It's a great place to start your editing. I like that one. At CN16, I can favorite it by putting a star right here and it will add it to my favorites. So I can just always click it to apply it. This way, if I had 10 images open up in Adobe Camera Raw, I could just click the next one or I could select all of them with a the shift key and just click that same preset and it will apply. Then I can click done. Then it goes right back to Adobe Bridge. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these, go down to develop settings and I'm gonna say clear settings. So what I want you to pretend is, pretend I only had that creative style applied to this image. Let me go back and do it. It's gonna save the last thing I did. See, CN16. Now here's the thing to think about. What if I had 100 images that I'd pre-selected, I've kind of edited down and I said, okay, all I have to do is select those images in this folder by hitting Command A. I only have one other image here, but I could easily have a hundred or a thousand. It doesn't matter. And then all I do is right click, go down to develop settings, and I could either do previous conversion or I could also just hit CN16. And it would apply that preset, that special color and tonal toning to the entire image. Again, whether it's 10, 100, or a thousand, it'll update automatically. So let me show you another application. So let's say I, I go back in, I can either hit Command or Control R or click on this little aperture icon. It'll open up in Bridges version of Camera Raw. I'll come over to this preset panel and let's say I went into Portraits Light Skin and I come all the way down to PL11 and, and I click it to apply it officially. Not like, so it's not just a hover over thing. And it's like, you know, I really like that, but I, I'd like it to be more faded. So I can just drag this PL11 intensity slider to make it more faded. I could drag it the other way to make it more intense. But no, I think more faded would be more appropriate for this particular one. Now watch this. I can then go into vintage. And then, because I've already applied one of the other presets, I can now apply another preset on top of it. So here I think I'm going to apply this preset as well and figure out, do I want more or less? I think it's right about the right place automatically. And then I'm just going to click done. By clicking done, it closes it and takes me back to bridge. If I clicked open, it would open it in Photoshop. So now I have two presets applied to this. And we have an indication in the upper right hand corner that I've applied something in Adobe Camera Raw. And remember, if I have 10 images in this folder, 100 images, 1,000 images, it really doesn't matter. I can select them all, right click, go down to develop settings, and then I would just say, apply previous conversion. The reason I'm not going to apply this single CN16 is because I had two adjusted presets applied. So I'm just going to apply the previous conversion and it would apply it instantly across all of the images that needed to have the exact same look so that if I'm putting them up on a website or printing them, they're visually consistent in both color and tone. So now you're thinking, okay, what if I come up with my favorite preset, right? but it's not showing up down here, but I've gone on and done different things. So I would have lost this previous conversion memory. It's still not a big deal. All you would do is open this back up in Camera Raw and it has all of these things still applied, right? So all you would do is come over to this more icon. The more icon is designated by the three dots. It says more image settings. You'd click it and you would say, I love this preset so much that I want to create my own preset, which is a combination of all these other ACR presets. And you would just, my faded vintage. 
and it would be saved into the group user presets. I could create a new group if I wanted to, and I can check all the things that I want to be applied. I can add things like auto tone or auto black and white mix. So you have a lot of options and just click okay. So now under the user presets, I have this my faded vintage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click done. I'm gonna select both of these, right click, and I'm gonna say clear all the settings. So now when I select an image and go back over to ACR into the preset panel, I can just look at my user presets and there's my faded vintage and I can apply it, click done. And then I can go back and select that one or a thousand images. And then I can do develop settings, previous conversion, and it's gonna apply that to every single image in that folder. How amazing is that? Bang, bang, baby, it's a new day. Hey, if you like this video, it helps. You can help me smack it, whack it, and crack a lack it. Take care. I like subscribers. That's awesome. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I did. This is Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.